we got the <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Energy and today I'm coming at you guys with a brand new series to the channel. This is going to be a debate series where basically I just be given topics by you guys to debate over um, and make a video over. The first topic I have for you guys today uh, is pretty simple. I'm going to be debating all the flavors of G Fuel. Me and the new uh, uh, YouTube manager yesterday. Uh, me and him came up with this idea to start this new series, and so I thought I'd bring this to you guys here today. Uh, this should be a pretty sick series. Um, I'm gonna really enjoy doing this first one because it's G Fuel, and like if you've tried G Fuel before, you know you love it. I mean, who doesn't love G Fuel? Let's be honest. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through each flavor of G Fuel. I just picked a randomly, like this one versus this one, this one versus that one. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. You guys can comment down below what your personal flavors are. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll probably comment what my favorite uh, flavors of G Fuel are. I did have to repeat one of these flavors because there's only nine. As you guys know, they just came up with a new mystery flavor, which makes it an odd number. So, starting off, we're going to go with Blue Ice versus Pink Lemonade. Now, I am personally drinking Pink Lemonade right now, and it's really good. Uh, it's honestly one of my favorites of G Fuel. Oh, it's just so good. I have... Uh, at my house, I have pink lemonade, watermelon, blue ice, and lemon lime. And I think those three are just absolutely amazing. Blue ice, a lot of people, blue ice is not that bad. As some people don't like it. Some people think it tastes like washed up paper or some shit like that. It just kind of tastes funny, like chewed up bubble gum or something. Is what people say it tastes like. I don't think it's too bad, but honestly, I think blue uh, pink lemonade is a little bit better than blue ice. The next one I got is phase berry versus peach mango now I decided to do this one because these are two very popular flavors and I know people are gonna be debating over this like fucking crazy so uh, you know honestly I've only tried peach mango I have not tried phase berry before um, but from what I've heard from people I think phase berry is really really good but peach mango is also legendary I know Jeff is a real big fan of pink lemonade but everybody loves phase berry so honestly <laughs> If I were me, I would probably go with Peach Mango just because I've tried it. I have not tried Phase Berry, I've just heard that it's really good, but honestly, I think those two would probably tie, to be honest, because those are both really fun good. Next one I got is Grape versus Watermelon. Now, I've, I have Watermelon, like I said, I've not tried Grape, but I've also heard Grape is really fucking good, and they, that's when they, I believe when they came out with Grape, they started making those customized shaker cups with but the purple lid because it matched the grape because when I got my shaker cup there was just plain shaker cups and G Fuel on it and everything it wasn't like a customized one like the new phase G Fuel cups that I've seen are really fucking awesome and I just wanted to try one like I just want to get one because it looks so dope um, but between grape and watermelon I think watermelon's really good don't get me wrong but from what I've heard from grape people love grape so I think those two flavors are another one that would probably tie but I think grape might get the edge a little bit but by most people. Uh, the next one is Blood Orange versus Lemon Lime. Now, like I said, I have Lemon Lime, so I've tried Lemon Lime. I like everything Lemon Lime flavored, especially Gatorade, so I have not tried Blood Orange, but yet again, you know, Blood Orange got a really good review. People said they love it. I mean, honestly, everyone, I think, loves all flavors of Gamma, to be honest. I mean, some people might like more, some more flavors than the others, but I like lemon and lime personally, so I would probably go with lemon and lime just because I've never tried blood orange, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that would go with blood orange. Um, I thought blood orange was a really cool flavor that they came out with, and that wasn't actually too long ago. They've came out with quite a few new flavors recently, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the fifth one I have here, I got mystery flavor versus green apple. Um, and now, as you guys know, they just came out with mystery flavor, so I don't know how many of you guys have actually tried mystery flavor before yet um, my guess from looking at what it is um, since it's a white clear substance I'm gonna say it's white cherry that was my guess um, there is a for those of you guys who drink Powerade or Gatorade there is a Gatorade out there that is just literally a clear white color and that's and that's called white cherry some people call it white white black cherry it's just like 
it's a clear substance, but it tastes like white cherry, and it's really, really good. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. That would be my guess as to what the mystery flavor is. Green apple I have not tried, but as popular as that mystery flavor is, I think mystery flavor would definitely win over green apple just because of the hype of this new flavor. I know a lot of the phase members have tried it, but they have not exactly told us what the flavor is exactly, but my guess would be white cherry. And then the final the final matchup I have here is Fruit Punch versus Lemon Lime. I have to do Lemon Lime again because, I, again, I ran out of flavors. I think the Lemon Lime would easily win over Fruit Punch. Anyway, Fruit Punch is just kind of a basic flavor. I mean, you can get Fruit Punch in anything, like Gatorade or something. It's probably like the same shit. I haven't had Fruit Punch, but Lemon Lime is really fucking good. It's like Lemon Lime and Fruit Punch are both like different Gatorade flavors, so I don't know. I think Lemon Lime would win. Um... Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up my section for G Fuel. I do have another topic that I want to debate over a little bit, um, and that's going to be Black Ops 3. But real quick, if you guys can, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it so far. If you guys enjoyed this G Fuel debate, um, leave down in the comments below which flavor of G Fuel was personally your favorite. I will put in the description the matchups here that I wrote down on this piece of paper between the two flavors. If you guys want to go through and comment each one, like what you which one you felt there's six different matchups here so if you guys want to comment down below i'll put in the description which ones i debated between uh, my personal favorites of g flavors of g fuel for the ones that i've tried watermelon and pink lemonade and lemon lime have got to be my top i've only tried four flavors of g fuel or no i've tried five yeah i've tried five but i'm sure if i tried some of the other ones it might change up a little bit but i think one of my favorites is either pink lemonade or lemon lime i'm drinking lemon lime right now or pink lemonade right now it's really good so mm. Oh, that's so good. Anyway, next topic I wanted to talk about. I was just going to make this just a G Fuel debate, but this is a pretty long gameplay, so I thought I'd add this in a little bit. This is a pretty sick gameplay for, you, for those of you guys who are watching. Um, I absolutely destroyed these kids on MW3. Um, and I really I really thought this was a sick gameplay. I think I, I, think I dropped like a 60 bomb or plus or some shit like that. Um, but the next thing I wanted to talk about with you guys is the whole Black Ops 3 thing. Um, and the, uh, and also the Xbox One backwards compatibility, which I think is really interesting because I have quite a few friends who, um, play the Xbox One. I've never gotten one, or I have, I don't have one currently right now. Um, but I've, I've kind of wanted to get one for like the longest time, but I've just never gotten around to it. I think the backwards compatibility is pretty cool. Um, I think that's pretty neat how they did that, how you can play your old 360 games like MW2 and Black Ops 2, the games people love. And, you know, honestly, I think Black Ops 2 is about broken now because I went on it a couple days ago trying to play with some of my friends and I'm just getting in speed lobbies all day. It's really annoying, so... I don't know, but I think the backwards compatibility is pretty cool. Uh, it would be interesting to see how that works out. Hopefully Activision and a bunch of other games, uh, gaming companies approve of that because that'd be really sick and that'd probably make a lot of people happy so the whole black ops 3 thing um i don't i'm not one who's really hyped for it um black ops 2 i'm not a huge fan of black ops 2 i don't get me wrong i enjoy the game but my favorite game of all time is mw2 um mw3 is probably that close second black ops 2 is hanging there on third um but i know a lot of people are hyped for black ops 3 to see what it's like i just when i heard that there was going to be a bunch of weird like exo suit ish movements and all this other weird crap like you can run walls and do all this other crap i just thought that was stupid because my opinion is we should have one call of duty um that has exo suits and honestly advanced warfare was hyped when it came out and it was good for about a month and then it just died down and honestly i have not played that game in like a month it's probably sitting in my basement in my uh in my uh drawer or my desk just collecting dust because I don't play that game anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole supply drop thing was fun and what, but exosuits are good for one game, being able to fly around and shit. That just kind of takes away from Call of Duty. I just wish they would go back to the Call of Duty roots. I think they're getting too advanced with all this Call of Duty crap with exosuits and all these like suit ability movements and stuff. I mean, it's a good idea, but I think for one Call of Duty, it's good enough. Um, other than that, I think they can take a break from it. Anyway, guys, this is about. I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like for the G Field debate and the Black Ops 3 commentary um, and the Xbox crap that I just talked about. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you later and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.